welcome to this video that is all about the garden boxes that I am building my mother for Mother's Day. My mom is a very, very special person and she does a lot for me. So I try to do something special for her on Mother's Day. Her birthday falls on May 5th and Mother's Day is May 10th. So they're always close together. So she gets a double, a double amount of love that week. And I need to finish them today. <laughs> She's always wanted to have a couple of raised garden boxes for her yard. She's got um, some odd things going on in her yard. The soil pH doesn't always agree with vegetable gardens and uh, she doesn't really like to plow into the ground because then it's kind of like permanent. You took out the grass or you go out clear out to the krell and then yeah, you're clear out in the krell and you have to drag a hose out there. So hopefully these will be a nice addition to her yard. Um, so today I am going to sand and stain and then line them and that will be everything that needs to be done on those. I am brushing off the project with a broom to get the sand sawdust off. I would really love to blow it off with like an air compressor, but I don't currently have one. I would love to have one of the little pot belly, like the color mushroom air compressors. They're really small. I would use the Dickens out of one of those, um, but I don't have one right now. So I am just going to brush it off with the broom and do the best I can. find a place out of the wind to talk to the cameras. I've noticed lately that all my videos have um, wind in them, but that's just every day here has been incredibly windy. But I ordered a microphone, so hopefully soon we will have less windy audio. But I bought this Thompson's water seal stuff, insert a picture, that uh, I got at Walmart. And it's a beautiful color on the on the bottle and I applied some to these raised beds for my mom and it is like pumpkin orange or really bad tan orange <laughs> it's not a pretty color right now so I'm waiting to see that if it soaks in if it's going to mellow a little bit because it's a long ways from the picture on the bottle and I'm really glad I started on the bottom. Always start on the bottom of your projects so that if you, something doesn't go quite as you planned, like the color isn't what you expected, it's not on the top. <laughs> what an adventure. So I didn't like the first stain as we talked about. I had to be in town today to meet my husband, take him some parts. So I decided I'd stop at the local hardware store and pick up another stain. And it took me like an hour to decide. I, I detest buying stain because I can buy nine out of 10 cans of paint and like all nine uh, of different colors. I, I do not struggle with buying paint, but I don't think I've ever bought a can of stain that I liked. And of course, I didn't buy a can of stain that I like this round either. <laughs> so I ended up taking two stains that I had from previous projects, a light gray and a mahogany red, which neither, I didn't want them these boxes to be neither. I needed like a, like a, a brown of some kind. So we ended up here with this almost gunmetal brown stain um, from mixing the two together. And I don't hate it. It wasn't what I had in mind, but they are pretty.
thank you for watching and if you like my videos please subscribe it's the little circle at the very end last screen of my videos it has my picture on it you click on that and that subscribes you to my channel so that you don't ever miss a video and if you like or comment or subscribe it helps my videos be seen by more people so thanks for watching hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day and big happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there I know some incredible women some incredible mothers and it is a day to celebrate. So hope you're having a good one.